bit. But even so, it's bumpy and off and on these ramps on the um, usual road, it's really tough. Yes, it is. I mean, uh, you can see the cars at, at, it is bumpy, but once they get up to speed, it's not, it, it's not so bad, okay? So, but the long straights are, are everything. That's super good. Away we go then, and away off the bridge they come. And this is all the dive now into the first spot. And oh, Conor Mosak makes a big heavy move at nine. And carnage almost as they bump their way through. Scott Borchetta holds on to third place. We're on board with him. Um, but that was a really aggressive start there. And Borchetta certainly in the thick of it. But out front, Brent Cruz by the looks of things. Scott Borchetta holds his position. Looks as though Conor Mosak was the man making the big moves. We're on board with Rafa Matos, and it's a double-edged sword out for Rafa. He's leading the championship, but he doesn't want to finish this race with a DNF, does he? Not at all. He wants to get to the end of this thing. So these opening laps right now, especially where he's at, he needs to be super careful. He's watching everything in front of him and behind him to where he doesn't get taken out. Puncher for Barry Bowes. He was in the wards yesterday, and it looks as though the same is happening again. First time over the bridge they come. We're on board with Guy Cosmo. Guy Cosmo taking the seat of Mike Skeen, who won this race last year. And this is our first real view. There is Barry Bowes definitely coming into the pits, and that could be game over already in the early stages. Uh, so, one of 46 laps, a long way to go, and we expected quite a few incidents this time last year, but there wasn't. And that was a big incident at the start there. I wonder if the stewards will have a look at that. Was that too aggressive into that funnel, if you will? Tell you what, he charged that car right on in there, <laughs> so there could be some, uh, some penalties being established here. Well, we're on board with Adrian Lostowski as he goes over the Cumberland River. Over 145 miles, 49 from 150. Oh, wow, he's hit 150. So it just shows you how fast they are. And they've narrowed this corner now. It's just 50 feet across, and so no swinging into turn nine. Now it's quite a precise corner. Uh, and the opportunity to overtake uh, is a muscle move, and that's what we saw there from Connor Mosak. Back on board with Borchetta. I've got to give my hat 